Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So as you know, we have started a series where we are discussing the top 30 questions from all the important chapters. So in today's video, I'll be discussing top 30 questions from one of the most important chapter that is biomolecules. So this chapter is very easy, you, it's completely theoretical based, so it's a high scoring topic. So please do not leave this chapter at all, just revise all the examples and everything. So we'll be discussing some of the questions here, so let us see. The first question here is, so here some question is about carbohydrates. Sucrose is dextra rotatory, but after the hydrolysis, the mixture shows levorotation. This is because of. So whenever, first of all, you know what happens when sucrose undergo hydrolysis. So sucrose on hydrolysis gives us fructose, okay, and glucose. Glucose is dextra rotatory, whereas fructose is levorotatory. Now, if the mixture is becoming levorotatory, that means the levorotation of fructose will be more. Okay, so now let us see the question. Levorotation of glucose is more than the dextra rotation of fructose. So, because this is wrong, because glucose shows dextra and fructose shows levorotation. This option is incorrect. Sucrose is a non-reducing sugar. This has nothing to do with this one. Racemic mixture is formed. This also is not re uh, required. Lever rotation of fructose is more than dextro rotation of glucose. That can be the correct answer. Okay, the correct answer for this question is option number D. Okay, next go to the next question. The correct match between the column X and Y. This is very important. In your NCRT book, there is a table where vitamins, their sources and their deficiency diseases are there. Please remember that it is very important. You will get like one or two match the following questions you can easily get. Okay, so first of all, if you, you may not be knowing all of them, but you can know some basic one, like for example, vitamin A is for night blindness, right? So A, 1 is to 3, we can see this option is incorrect, this option is incorrect. So it can be either C or D. So next we have vitamin K, this one is for increased blood clotting time. So we can say fourth one should be option number 2. So here it is there, so the incorrect option is also C and the correct answer for this question will be option number D. Okay, now let us see the next question. Thyroxine produced in the thyroid gland is iodinated derivative of. So this one is also theoretical. It is a derivative of tyrosine. Okay, so the correct answer is option number C. Next, receptors are proteins and crucial to body communication process. These receptors are embedded in. So it's like where the receptors are available in our body. It is on the cell membrane. Okay, the correct answer is option A. Next, okay, this is one uh, which institute has approved the emergency of the use of 2-deoxy-D-glucose as additive therapy for COVID-19 patients, okay. So this one, the correct answer for this question is option number B, that is Drug Controller General of India, okay. Next, a nucleic acid, whether DNA or RNA, gives on complete hydrolysis two purine bases, two pyrimidine bases, a pentose sugar and a phosphoric acid. Nucleotides which are intermediate products in the hydrolysis contain. So this is very important question. See whenever any hydrolysis takes place for a nu uh, nucleic acid, we get nucleotides. Okay, the monomer units are nucleotides. These nucleotides contains three important thing. One is your sugar. Okay, then we have nitrogenous bases and we have phosphate group. Okay, now these two groups, sugar and nitrogenous base are together called as nucleoside, right. So now you can see the option, it can, there are two bases are reduced, so it, it can be either a purine base or a pyrimidine base and orthophosphoric acid, this cannot be answered because we need sugar also with that, right. Now purine or pyrimidine bases are pentose sugar and a orthophosphoric acid. All the three components are there. So when we hydrolyze, we'll get nucleotide. Each nucleotide will contain these three points. So the correct answer for this question will be option number B. Okay, next. RNA and DNA are chiral molecules. Their chirality is due to the presence of. So again, as I discussed, DNA molecules have three important things. First is sugar. Then we have nitrogenous bases and we have phosphate group. Right. Out of these three, the sugar is the one which is D sugar. That is one. It is chiral. So the molecules are also chiral. So the correct answer for this question is D sugar component. L sugar is not present. Chiral bases are not present. Phosphate unit is not a chiral compound. Okay. Next. Primary structures in a nucleic acid contains bases as G, A, T, G, C. So G, A, T, 
G and C. The chain which is complementary to this chain is. So, in DNA there is something called as complementary. A will always form bond with T and G will always form hydrogen bond with C. So, now if you see first one is G. So, that means here it should be C. Next A that means it should be T. Here T then again it should be A and then we have sorry. Here we have G, so it will be again C and C will be G. So now you can see which option we have C, T, A, C, G. That is your option C. Okay, correct answer for this question is option number C. Now, hypothyroidism is caused due to the deficiency of. Okay, so this is thyroidism is due to the deficiency of thyroxine. Answer is option number B. So this deficiency diseases for vitamins and hormones, you can remember it's there in the NCRT book, table is given. Please learn that table. Okay. Next, C1, C4 glycosidic bond is not found in. Okay. So, this is again important question from disaccharides. Examples of disaccharides, they are linkage. You have to remember. Now, in sucrose, it is C1 to C4, uh, C1 to C2. Okay. So, the, it is not C1 to C4. So, the correct answer for this question will be option number A. Next, we have which of the following vitamins is not stored in adipose tissue? So, this question is little confusing. If you think what is adipose tissue, this word is not used in the chapter. But the question is it should be stored in the body, right? But we have vitamins classified under two things. One is water soluble, water soluble vitamins and we have fat soluble vitamins. So, water soluble vitamins cannot be stored in the body okay? because they are soluble in the water. So, it cannot be stored. So, which are the examples of water soluble? Vitamin B and C. So, you can see this option A, D and E cannot be the answer because they can be stored in the body because they are fat soluble. So, the correct answer for this question will be option number A. Okay. Next question. In nucleic acids, the nucleotides are joined together by. This is again important. This is due to phosphor diester linkages. So, just we will revise once here. If we have carbohydrates. Okay. Carbohydrates are joined together by glycosidic linkage. This one can also be a question. Now, if we have amines, that is peptides. Amino acids are linked by peptide bond. And then we have nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are connected by phosphodiester linkage. Okay. These three type of bonding we have there in the biomolecules, so phosphodiester linkage. You can remember, so this time question is from nucleotides, that is for DNA, it can be from any of these three. Next, which of the following is generally water insoluble? So, water insoluble are your fibrous proteins, okay. So, there is a difference, three points of difference between globular protein and fibrous protein. There we can know that globular proteins are soluble, but fibrous proteins are insoluble. So, correct answer is option number A. Next. The vitamin that helps in clotting of blood, this is very important vitamin, that is vitamin K. Correct answer for this question is option number D. Which of the following bases is not present in DNA? So, in DNA we have A, T, G and C and in RNA we have A, U, G and C. So, U is not present in DNA, U stands for uracil. Correct answer for this question is option number D. Okay. Now, the two forms of D-glucopyranose are called. So, there are two terms here, apimers and anomers. Okay. See here, if there is any uh, change in the configuration at any one place, then they are called as anomers. They are called as apimers. Okay. What is the point here? Change in any one carbon. Okay. Now, if that one carbon where the configuration is different, that is C1, okay, the change in C1 carbon, change is in C1 carbon, then we called it anomers. So, in glucose, this uh, configuration is present at C1 position, so that is why they are anomers. Okay? So, correct answer for this question is option number B. So, now let us see the next question. The glycosidic linkage involved in the glucose units in amylose part of the starches. So, this is a polysaccharide amylose. Here we have 1,4 linkage of alpha glucose. Okay. So, the correct answer for this question will be option number D. C1, C4 alpha linkage. 
okay now let us see next question the glycosidic linkage present in sucrose is between so sucrose is a disaccharide of glucose and fructose so you can see galactose and glucose we can eliminate glucose and glucose we can eliminate glucose and fructose is there and here also we have glucose and fructose but it is c1 to c2 okay here you can see it is c1 to c4 so this is also incorrect correct answer for this question will be option a okay, next pick the wrong statement from the following consumption of citrus food and green leafy vegetables in food prevents scurvy deficiency of vit vitamin b6 results in convulsions then we have sources of vitamin b1 are yeast milk green vegetables and cereals deficiency of vitamin d causes xerophthalmia so this also has in that table vitamin and their sources and deficiency xerophthalmia is caused due to the deficiency of vitamin a okay and not vitamin d so the correct answer for this question will be option number d you have to find the wrong statement now let us see the next question hormones are secreted by ductless glands of human body iodine containing hormone is so iodine containing hormone is thyroxine correct answer will be option number d deficiency of iodine causes thyroid okay this disease also you can remember next question we have which of the following will show positive felling solution test so first of all what is the condition for positive felling test it should have free aldehyde group okay so if any compound has free aldehyde group it will show positive test for tollens reagent and felling reagent now generally monosaccharides all monosaccharide shows positive test for positive test for felling and tollens reagent okay so you know glucose is a monosaccharide it has a free, free aldehyde group so it will show positive set test correct answer for this question will be option number b okay now let us see next question which of the following is correct about the hydrogen bonding in dna okay so we know this one just now discussed adenine forms hydrogen bond with thymine guanine forms hydrogen bond with cytosine so the correct answer will be atgc that is option number a next question one of the following is an essential amino acid okay so amino acids are of two types essential and non essential so examples you have to remember especially of essential amino acid so isoleucine is an essential amino acid correct answer for this question is option number d now next kalosis and digestive disorders are due to the deficiency of so this is a deficiency disease of vitamin b okay so the correct answer for this question will be riboflavin option number d next adenosine is an example of this is a very tricky question here we have been given with adenosine and we have one more term that is adenine so adenine is a nitrogenous base and what is adenosine this is nitrogenous base plus the sugar group so we have like if we have taken guanine as a nitrogenous base then we'll get guanosine right so cytosine so like that if this is adenosine is not a pyrimidine base it is a nucleoside okay when we have the uh, sugar and the base we call it nucleoside so here this group is a uh, nucleoside correct answer is option number b so next question is glycogen is okay it's a structural polysaccharide structural sim similar to amylopectin but it is extensively branched next it is made up of beta d glucose units so this statement is incorrect this is alpha d glucose units so this statement is incorrect next structurally very similar to amylopectin so the bond linkage is very similar to amylopectin but glycogen has an extensive branching so the correct answer for this question will be option number b okay it is extensively branched okay now let us see the next question the statement that is not correct is so aldose and keto sugars in alkaline medium do not isomerize then we have carbohydrates are optically active this statement is correct then we have pentaacetate of glucose does not react with hydroxylamine this statement is also correct then we have lactose has glycosidic linkage between c4 of glucose and c1 of galactose this statement is also correct now you have seen aldose and ketose do undergo isomerization from alpha form to beta form right so this statement is incorrect correct answer for this question will be option number a now let us see the next question which is a reducing sugar so the condition for reducing sugar is it should reduce tollens reagent and felling reagent 
and when they can reduce this tolerance reagent and felling reagent if they have free aldehyde group okay so now generally all the monosaccharides can reduce here so you can see this is not a monosaccharide sucrose is a disaccharide this is also not a monosaccharide galactose is a monosaccharide with a free aldehyde group so it can reduce tolerance reagent and felling reagent and hence can be called as a reducing sugar so the correct answer will be option number a so next question is 29 that is hemoglobin has so we have proteins under three structures that is primary secondary tertiary and quaternary so further folding of primary structures will give you secondary then tertiary and then quaternary hemoglobin is an example of quaternary structure so the correct answer is option number d okay next yes this is important question the number of tripeptide formed between uh, three different amino acids so the question is like how many different types of amino acids uh, tripeptide we can form using three amino acids so let us have like three amino acids as a b and c so we can have one bond as this is one two peptide bonds will get between a b and b c now we can arrange this in this way a b sorry a c and b there is no particular order so it is like how many total combinations we can have so it can have a c and b right so with taking a as the first amino acid we can get two uh, so here total we will get one two three four bonds now we have we can have b with c and b with a and we can have b a and b c then we can have c a and b and we can have c b and a right so now the question is total how many such combinations are possible that is six so the correct answer for this question will be option number d okay so these were the top 30 questions from biomolecules so please do this question and check if you are able to do it or not if you have any doubt in any question please comment i'll be addressing it and please join our whatsapp channel the link of the whatsapp channel will be there in the description section you will get more updates about it if you have found this video useful please like share and subscribe the channel thank you